this is a collection of Apple products that I've gotten so far. These are my iPods, my iPhone. That over there's my iPad. We'll turn these on. They're all on. But yeah. This first one here is an iPod Touch first gen. Going to settings. Alright, so this is a basis comparison. Oh yeah, and by the way, that's a Chinese one. I'll prove it. This was random, but this is actually a Chinese version from mainland China. Which is why Google came up in Chinese when I tried to look it up. I was expecting both of these two to be the same, but they actually are both the same. That's why you might have seen WLAN or something. Probably. But yeah. Cause I just found Weeboo on here. I can show you. This one's got Weeboo. So you know Weeboo. It's only marginally different though from the others. It's not that different. Even in terms of software, they're all exactly the same, almost. I'm getting fingerprints on these already. Anyway, here's my iPad 2. Here's my iPad 2. This one's already got games on it. I would have put it over there with those, but this is too big. So I had to get that over there on the dryer. But yeah, I was I was shocked. But I'm gonna but it's alright though. This iPad this iPhone 3 I've had since 2016. 
this one used to be my sister's that she gave. See my, my brother's got a similar one, but it's like silver. He's never gotten rid of that. This one came October 5th. Those three came October 7th. And that one here came October 8th. I'll turn them on again. But yeah. We'll flip the backs. Anyway, here's the devices on their back. The back of and the iPad too. All these iPad these iPod touches are eight gigabytes. One of these ones is actually Chinese for some reason. I don't know why. I wasn't expecting it. Maybe it was. Just, maybe they put it in there random. Or it's probably the only one they had. I don't know. And then the backs of the iPod Nanos. It's the silver here on this one. Stainless steel, just like the touches. This one's got aluminum on it. I was actually listening to this out here earlier with, with the earbuds that came with my first gen iPod Touch. At first it, it worked, and the second time it didn't. But yeah, I've already gotten a collection otherwise. Yeah, I don't know if I should, I don't know what to do about this situation here. But I mean, it, it's not enough to make too much of a difference, I guess. Since they're pretty much cosmetically the same, even in terms of software, I don't expect it to hurt it. But yeah, I was using these. Let me get on the internet. Yeah, this one here. Forgot to do on this one. This is an aluminum back. Similar to that of the Mac. And uh, other iPod. But I'll go ahead and show you. About this one too. While I'm doing this. This is iOS 9.3.5, so a lot of stuff still works on this, even though it's from 2011. This is from 2007, and that's from 2008, 2009, 2010, that's 2008 too, 2006, 2007. Yeah, the web browsers actually work on a, lot, on, on a lot of these too. I've actually got YouTube to work on the four gens. I can show you real quick. Okay, so I got, the browsers are kind of slow, but the app of it. The Apple site on here still works on all of these, even the old first gen iPod Touch. And my other older devices, those two are taking a while to load. But yeah, I'm just testing these out. Okay, that one got on there. Go get my iPod. I'm gonna get my iPad on it too. But yeah, they're not dead just yet. 
they are still working. They're just having a bit of some problems here because of age and stuff. But other than that, they're actually still working on Safari. Their Safari app still works. But yeah, three of these here actually have debugging consoles. I'm trying to eliminate errors on these. But yeah, these are... This makes about nine of what I got now. All these I had since 2021, except this. I had this one since 2016. This one was my sister's. But all these other ones I got this year for off eBay. But yeah. Now as far as the iPad 2 goes, the internet still works. There's ATBW Mirror He's wiki. I do work on this. But we're gonna get off of that. Yeah, by the way, this is in private too. But yeah, Apple Store works on on this too. This is actually one of Apple's longest supported devices, by the way, from what I've read. They still gave this thing repairs until I think last year or so. But that's what I've read. But this is the, one of the more recent versions of iOS, iOS 9. It came out in 2015. Yeah, these all turned off. But yeah, here's the Apple Store on on all all six of these other devices. This is just to show you that even the oldest Apple technologies can still run pretty well, but with, with problems down the road. But yeah, most of the software, however, is not supported anymore. It's just out of date. It's better just to get a new It's better that you just get a new phone, like an iPhone 14, no, no, like an iPhone 12 or so. The only good use of these, a lot of these is just collector's items, and that's about it. Most apps don't even work on these anymore, really. This was just sort of a childish thing. But anyway, that's just showing you, this only shows that, but some sites actually still do work on this old browser of Safari. Pretty much. I have debugging consoles because I'm trying to resolve errors on both of these, because they're collector's items and stuff. I don't know. Uh, but anyway... I'm sorry I sound kind of bad, but anyway. I don't know what happened here. But yeah, this iPod's running version 1.1.3. This is running 1.1.32 as well. Both of those run 1.1.3, but differently. I guess I'll get off, subscribe, bye.